Hello designers! You can see that this particular gift, wonderfully created, is made for New Year's. But what if you took this little sign out and it said happy birthday? Wouldn't this gift be appropriate for a birthday? What about happy relocation or something to that effect? The person has just moved into their new home, their new apartment, they're in a new area. This gift is for that reason as well. What about saying thank you to an individual or family or um, a, another kind of group that can use these kinds of items? Thank you, something that shows appreciation. This would be the, that kind of gift as well. What about Mom's Day? This qualifies as a Mother's Day gift as well. The point of this is that you want to buy items, edible items specifically, that can be used in many different themes. If you buy things, and I know you're not, but when you're first starting, when you first start making gift baskets, you're looking at items and getting very happy, very excited about what you're looking at. And sometimes you end up buying items that can only be sold once a year. Christmas items, or maybe something for Thanksgiving, or Halloween, or Valentine's Day. You want to buy items that are universal to any occasion along the year. So these items are appropriate for that. These lemon straws, a, um, a peach marinade, a buttermilk pancake mix, and a pancake syrup. Now, you're not going to have the items that you have to make in certain gifts. But as I mentioned, these particular items do qualify for the kinds of themes that we were just talking about and possibly other themes as well. There's some popcorn back here. And if you're wondering what this guy is, it's a pig wand. So for the new year, one of the resolutions that a person has is that they want to reduce their weight. And this pig wand is supposed to be wanded over a product and help you to not have any calories. Yes, it's a fun item. <laughs> um, and there are two glasses. I don't know if you can see them here. There are two glasses that are crisscrossed on top, held by curling ribbon to usher in the new year with this beverage, this non-alcoholic beverage that's on the left. So the point again is that you want to buy items that are going to be universal to many themes throughout the year, because if you buy items that are only appropriate once a year, or maybe even twice a year, those items might expire, they may get old, they may go out of favor. You don't need to use your money in that manner. So as you're looking at the items that you're interested in buying, think about how many different occasions along the year you can sell it for. You can add it to your gifts, uh, baskets, and your boxes so that your inventory turns and turns and you continue to increase your income and your revenue is not only higher, but your customers are happy because what you have created for them is through and from fresh items that continue to sell no matter what the occasion. Keep that in mind as you are purchasing your items, as you're looking at what to purchase. Is there something in your inventory that you are having a problem selling? Share that with me in the comments and let's see if we can come up with a reason, um, an idea to get that item from your inventory into the client's or the recipient's hands. This is Shirley George Frazier wishing you baskets of success.